Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the cell wall inhibitors. Cell wall synthesis inhibitors. So in the cell wall synthesis inhibitors, first we have to learn how the cell wall is synthesized in the bacteria. So first and foremost there is UDP N acetyl glucosamine. This UDP N acetyl glucosamine gets converted to UDP N acetyl muramic acid in the presence of the enzyme enoyl pyruvate transferase. In the presence of enoyl pyruvate transferase, it gets converted to UDP N acetyl muramic acid. This UDP N acetyl muramic acid in the presence of alanine resumes or alanine alanine ligase alanine resumes or alanine alanine ligase it gets converted to udp m pentapeptide here in udp m pentapeptide there is removal of pentapeptide occurs removal of pentapeptide occurs this in the presence of udp g it forms UDP. UDP glucose, it forms UDP. Now, this results in the formation of a molecule which in the presence of transpeptidase, this is transported by, this molecule is transported by bactoprenol across the plasma membrane. And in the, the, and in the presence of transglycolase, this molecule undergoes elongation of the chain. So this is how the cell wall synthesis occurs. So the drug phosphomycin will inhibit the enol pyruvate transferase. The drug alanine racemase will inhibit cycloserin. Then this drug transpeptidase is inhibited by beta lactam antibiotic. And now the drug there is dephosphorylation of this bacto phenol this bactophenol undergoes dephosphorylation and that, that this is inhibited by bacitracin whereas vancomycin will inhibit transglycolase so these are the cell wall synthesis inhibitors which are important thank you for watching